the equities market closed trading activities for the first day of the week on a negative note as NSC ASI records 0.29% loss amid decreased volume turnover as market sentiment and market bread closed negative. Its year-to-date returns currently stands at minus 7.78%. Welcome to the market opening gong, the program that gives you updates from the Nigerian capital markets. This edition captures the market performance for Monday, June 22nd, 2020. From the Nigerian Stock Exchange, the All Share Index closed at 24,753.92 basis points with a market capitalization of 12.913 trillion naira in 3,843 deals. At the close of trading for the day, investors lost 38.2 billion naira as market recorded 11 gainers to 26 losers. Japor Oil and Maritime Services, Nestle Nigeria and Fitzin Healthcare were top gainers for equity, while Neymet International Pharmaceuticals, Cutix and Honeywell Flower Mill were among the top losers. Japor Oil, Guarantee Trust Bank and Zenith Bank were the top players in terms of trade volumes and most active to boost market turnover. Looking at the FMBQ OTC exchange, the debt market size closed at 28.53 trillion naira. The NAFEX rate closed at 387 naira, 80 koba to a dollar, while the I and E FX rate opened at 386 naira, 83 koba to a dollar, and closed at 386 naira to a dollar. For the NASD OTC, the NSI closed at 701.1 basis points with a market capitalization of 514.94 billion. The volume of shares traded was 5.725 million and 18.555 million in terms of value traded in seven deals executed for the day. You can also check for global, commodity, currency and other indices on the economic dashboard displaying on the screen. For the highlights from yesterday, the Securities and Exchange Commission issued the following clarifications to facilitate effective compliance with the new Collective Investment Scheme rules. All fund managers of Collective Investment Schemes are required to comply with the provisions of the new rules and file evidence of compliance on or before the 30th of September 2020. The application of the new total expense ratio and incentive fee computation takes effect from the beginning of Q3 2020. Incentive fee should not be factored into total expense ratio computation and shall be accessible and payable on an annual basis. The Fund Managers Association of Nigeria shall submit acceptable benchmarks for money market funds, balance funds and ethical funds at the beginning of each year, commencing Q3 2020. For the key market events to watch, the Nigerian Stock Exchange will host Codville Business Solutions PLC at the maiden virtual facts behind the sustainability report on June 24th with a session on how organizations can create values through sustainability reporting by Professor Kenneth Ameshi. And that will be all for this edition of the Market Opening Gong. Visit www.prosharenj.com to get more updates from our news stories and videos. Connect with us on our social media platforms displaying on the screen for further updates on our market reports and to watch a live stream of the weekday programs. The ProShare mobile app is also available on Apple Store and Play Store on your mobile device, which allows you to customize your preferred news and videos. Till we come your way again, thank you for watching and do stay safe.